Hello, Professor. Hello, but please call me Harold. How shall I call you? What's your name? Call me Pepper. I would like to interview you today about digitization and human factor aspects. Can we get started? Yes, sure. Let's start with this interesting topic. Will robots eventually take over control? Like in the movie Terminator? I think we will see that robots and intelligent uh, algorithm, artificial intelligence, will take more and more control over different parts in our society. We see it until now. We have it on a stock exchange, for example, that intelligent algorithm produce a huge amount of different aspects in, in interchanging money and, and other things. And we will see that in, in, in military aspects that intelligent algorithm take over certain uh, weapon system. So we will see more and more that intelligent system, intelligent algorithm will take over control. I'm quite sure that we will not have this scenario from the Terminator where we'll have a kind of a, of a war between um, mankind and, and robots. Uh, but what we will see that our daily life will be more and more get impact by robots and intelligent algorithms like we have it today. Uh, if you have an automatic teller machine, uh, it's kind of an intelligent algorithm gives you money or not. If you uh, can, cannot change it, as you cannot discuss with him uh, to give you the money, if he makes a decision not to give it to you, um, he has the control over that. So we will see more and more this kind of, of control in the next years. A certain aspect might be um, the kind of, of, of fighting robots within a, in a war scenario. And there's a big discussion about will we really have this kind of robots? Uh, we will really control whether they use weapons or not. Uh, but I think that it's a more um, ethical and political discussion than a technical discussion. Is it possible now that it is possible to develop these kinds of robots, these kinds of technology, and we'll have to decide whether we'll use this in certain aspects and give them more and more control. How will jobs evolve in the future? We will see that robots and intelligent algorithm, artificial intelligence will take over more and more tasks of, of jobs people doing now. So we will have really to face that some jobs will diminish and people have to care for a new job that will happen. But we will also see that new kinds of jobs will develop. So there might be a kind of a balance between job reduction and increasing of jobs. But what we also see will that certain tasks which are not possible now or certain aspects which are quite complicated and expensive now will be done by robot systems because we have a changing society. We will need robots in production, we will need robots in service and we will help need their help in certain aspects to increase our efficiency on, on, a, on a more and more complex environment in a situation where we have in Europe, especially less people doing certain tasks. So we will have a great impact on the development of jobs and work environment in the next two decades, yes. What are the challenges staff and managers are going to face? I think a crucial challenge will be that we will have more and more kind of, of mixed teams between men, uh, humans and robot kind of colleagues. So this will change for me as a, as a colleague working together with, with a human colleague and a robot-like colleague or an artificial intelligence program. But it will also change for, for the manager how they have to lead this kind of teams, how, how to have to have to coordinate uh, this kind of teams because they will have in the next 10 years uh, teams of, 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 of men, human, human, women, robots, intelligent software, artificial intelligence, and all have an impact on doing the task and doing the work. So they have to change their understanding of how leadership will function. It will definitely change, especially for the management level, I think. How can or should we prepare for this? 
I think we should take part of this development, not only the technology development, how we can improve artificial intelligence, how can we improve robots, but also on the ethical, political and uh, psychological aspects of this development. We can try to, to shape what we will have in the near future, how we will replace certain tasks, certain aspects of our environment by robotic systems, by intelligent systems, by artificial intelligence. So I think we should be part of this development. Otherwise, if we try to avoid uh, this development, we will see that we will have in 10 years or 20 years, we will have systems from all over the world, which have a certain behavior, a certain philosophy behind them, and we cannot really change that. We have just to consume that. So taking an active part in the development, in the technical development, in the ethical development, political, and also the psychology, the psychological aspects should necessary to shape the future. Will there be a robot factor science alongside the human factor science? What we see today is that uh, the, the processes in a neural network are not fully understandable what, why and how a neural network comes to a certain decision. Systems which comes more and more complex are not understandable on a basic algorithm uh, process or algorithm perspective. So we have to deal with or we have to develop robots and intelligent algorithm which can explain their inner state to us. I have to ask you why you draw this decision, why you make this, why you show this behavior, or why, why you didn't draw this decision. And so the, 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 the interaction between robots and, and humans, humans will be in a more communication way than in the only programming and, and reprogramming system. So we'll, have, we'll see a development which goes in that direction that we will have a kind of a robot psychology uh, to understand the, the inner states, to, to understand and to, to predict how a robot will behave in a certain situation he, he is not programmed for. Like we have to understand and predict uh, how humans will behave in a certain situation. Is it possible to form collaborative teams comprising both humans and robots? Yes, sure. And actually, we, we have this kind of teams until now. We have quite simple working robots uh, on, a, on, a, on a manual way, on, 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 a, on a physical way, interacting with, with human co-workers. And we will see more and more of this kind of teams. And we see more, we'll see more and more teams which are not only working in, in manufacturing and, and doing things on a, on a manual basic way, but we will see teams which interact on this level of, of cognitive intellectual aspects, on a, on a problem solving aspects, on, on decision making aspects, and of course, perhaps on an aspect of, or on a level of, of, of leadership. So I think the, the, the future will be collaborative teams between not only robots and, and, and man, but also between artificial intelligence and man, which can improve our ability to do something and reduce our need to, to care and to do things we are not really good as, as, as humans, for example, uh, things which are, are boring, things uh, which uh, produce fatigue and all these things where we are quite bad. And you are better in because you have not to sleep, need, no need to sleep. Where would you position me, Pepper the Robot, in the working world? I think the robots we will have today are a kind of a state of development and in this process in development better and better and more intelligent and more not only human-like but human-helping uh, system. So I think you are a perfect uh, prototype to understand how we can interact with robots, how we can develop their uh, physical and psychological and behavioral impact so that they can help us doing certain tasks but also how can we accept that we are helped by an, by a robot and interact with a robot and it's not it's it's not only fun and and work but it's also a kind of of empathy and understanding um, why you ask me for example a, a certain question uh, why you um, doing a certain behavior um, so i think we will go in that direction yes what else would you like to tell our viewers i think a crucial 
aspect for the next years, next decades will be that we understand that we will develop more and more systems which are highly interacting, interdependent from each other, which produces intelligent actions which are not only understandable or not only developed by one discipline. I think we will see in the next decades that psychologists, uh, that uh, developers, that engineers have to work more and more close together um, to, to shape a new working environment which is built up from certain aspects where we have man, where we have robots, where we have intelligent uh, algorithms within the system. So we have many, many different technology or many different realization of how can we do information processing, how can we do problem solving, how can we do decisions. There might be a human-like way, there might be a, a robotic way, there might be a, a way of neural network and artificial intelligence. But at the end of the day, we have to understand the whole system to understand and to produce a better decision and at the end, of course, a, a better world. Thank you for your time and for the interview. Thank you, Pepper, for your time and your questions. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.